So let's have a look on the entitlements and access request policy a second time. In this case, we want to define something for a session. And to use or to create an access request policy for a session, you need either an asset that you can target via some kind of directory based account, or you can use a local account that is enabled for session request. I have an account here in my list that is called my account. And if I click on, on that my account page here, you see that it's enabled for password request only. If I want to use it in a session request policy, I can just enable it for session request. So it will show up in the list of these accounts. And then I can go back to entitlements and create a new entitlements. So in this case, it is called sessions. And no time restrictions as next entitlement and at the entitlement. So here it is. And now we go to say, I define the same stuff as before. I assign a user to it. In this case, I will just use myself again to have the user assigned to that entitlement. And then click on the access request policy to define the access request policy that's matching the request. Takes a little time again. So this is my session request. In this case, select the access type to be some kind of RDP or SSH session. So just to make it SSH, doesn't matter what it is. We just go to the scope and with scope you can now click either an asset or an account. In this case you want to have some kind of account. In this case it's my account. Here we go. Click on next. The requester is just pretty much empty as usual. Keep it simple. Click on auto approve. Review is not required. Access configuration. I will deselect the change password after check-in because this is a fake asset and the asset does not really exist and my account does not really exist. So otherwise the system will try to change or rotate the password so and it will fail so that will block it. So yeah, just leave it here uh, for simplicity. But you may need to check this if you are in a private environment. And now you have the access config. You can have directory-based account or none or whatever. This is because you have selected the account. So you can either specify it now or you can choose a coming from a directory. If you don't want to have it, this way you can just go back to scope, delete that account. So simply remove it, click on the plus and select an asset. Now select the asset. So you, now the request is for any managed account on that asset. Go to the requester as usual, go to the approver as usual, go to this one. And now the access configuration is whatever user supplied. So you have to type it in if you want. So or you can select the directory account and you can browse it. If you have discovered something already, you can select it here. But in this case, it is just a directory account or just user supplied or none, whatever you want. In this case, maybe just use a supplied just to complete the configuration. And now you have to select the link to your SPS box responsible for handling the real session. This is done via something that is called a join. And we're going to discuss this later. Complete the thing here and create the access policy. Now you have it here. And if you click back on the home icon, and as you know, I have to assign myself to this. Now I can place a new request and I can have my asset go to next and then I can select the account and this is the password or I can select my other ones whatever here and this is the SSH key. 